Are you having your chemistry exam tomorrow? Are you feeling anxious or panicky as to what you should do a day before the chemistry exam? In this video, I will share with you what you should and shouldn't do before the chemistry exam. So stay tuned. Hi, my name is Linus Lin from Keynote Learning. In this channel, you will find academic videos for English, math and science. If your education is something you are interested in, feel free to subscribe to our channel for our weekly videos. The most important thing to focus on a day before the chemistry exam are the content. I recommend you to go online to the examination board website and download the latest syllabus of the chemistry exam that you will be sitting for. So it is usually a PDF file and in this file you will see a list of topics that's covered in your upcoming chemistry exam. And in each topic, exactly what you need to know are also listed there. Be sure to look through every item that's listed in the official exam syllabus and ask yourself whether or not you have a clear understanding of what is expected of you in those items. If you ever come across an item that you're not familiar with, that's when you have to open your chemistry textbook and refer to that particular section and read through to make sure that you have an understanding of what that part is. After you have run through all the items in the examination syllabus, you should have a pretty good idea of what to expect in the upcoming chemistry exam. The next thing you should do is to open your textbook once again from the first chapter and read through all the way to the last chapter. However, in the interest of time, you will not have enough time to look through every single thing. So this is what I suggest that you focus on as you flip through the pages. Number one, Focus on the drawings. In the exam, you will be given marks in uh, when you draw the diagrams. So in your textbook, you will find drawings, for example, how to draw covalent bonds, how to draw ionic bonds, how to draw the alloy structure, and so on. So all the drawings that you can see in your textbook, focus on it and make sure that you know how to draw them. The second thing to focus on are the graphs. In chapters like energy change, you are taught how to draw the graphs for exothermic, endothermic, and there are also two types of graph, the energy level diagram and the energy profile diagram. In the chapter of speed of reaction, there are also graphs where you need to know how to sketch them in when the factors are being changed. So look at all the graphs in all the chapters. Number three, there are certain chapters in chemistry where you are required to calculate. Those are, for example, in the more calculation chapters, in the energy change chapters. So in those chapter, be sure to know all the formulas exactly okay and commit them to memory and not just that to look through the example of how they are calculated so that you are your mind is refreshed of how to uh, put those formula into actual application in those questions and that is very important so look through all the example questions in the chapter and how it is being calculated I suggest you use a piece of white paper to cover the, the, the sample answers and calculate it by yourself. After which, you compare your answer with what is written in the textbook to make sure that they are the same. The fourth thing to focus on are the definitions. In any chemistry examination, there will be definitions that is being asked. Okay? Make sure you know how to write the definitions word by word. Okay? This is just to make sure that you get the answer totally correct. Now, some examples of words that you must know how to define are like isotope, allotrope, macromolecule, addition polymerization, and so on. The last thing that you need to focus on in your chemistry textbook are all the facts and the factors. There are so many knowledge that you can actually gather from the uh, textbook, right? And there are a lot of factors that you need to learn. Like for example, in the topic on diffusion, you need to make sure that you know what are the two factors that affects the rate of diffusion. Right? There are also chapters uh, related to the uh, kinetic particle theory. Right? You need to know how to explain uh, why the temperature remains constant when you are melting, or why is it constant when you are boiling, and so on. Make sure you picked up all the keywords that matters the most because it is the keywords that give you the marks in the examination. One day before the examination, what you should not be doing are the school exam papers or the past year exam papers or the MCQ papers and so on. Why, do, why shouldn't we do that? Because those are meant to be improving your problem solving ability. 
Now, problem solving ability cannot be improved just one day before the exam. Okay, that should be done way before the examination. Okay, so in fact, if you were to do test paper before the exam, you will feel in fact quite demoralized because you will realize that there are still some questions that you can't solve, or in some cases, some students may find that almost every question that you can't solve. That will create unnecessary fear, okay, and worry in you. Okay, so don't do that one day before the examination. As I said before, the most important thing to focus on are the content one day before the examination. Now for the question of the day. How many hours do you think you should sleep just before a chemistry exam? Do leave your answer in our comments below. If you find this video useful, please leave us a like and subscribe to our channel to be updated of more weekly videos. See you in the next video. Okay.